hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we are going to discuss uh, how to study immunology in medical school i will uh, say immuno rather than immunology in the entire video because i cannot say immunology um, immunology properly so it's gonna be immuno from now on so this is one of those subjects in medical school that i recommend doing it in one go so I recommend if you start immuno immunology, again, I'm sorry, if you start immuno, I recommend doing it um, in 15 days or 20 days, like in one go, rather than doing a little bit of it here, a little bit of it there, and taking like long gaps in between. Because immuno is basically one large chunk of information that makes so much more sense if you do it in one go, rather than you, you know, take gaps and that just doesn't make sense to me, especially in immuno, because everything is so connected. So let's start with the textbook first, and then we'll move on to the review book and the question book, and then I will end with my own notes like we do in every video. So my uh, medical school recommended Levinson Medical Microbiology and Immuno. Uh, so I'm talking about the immuno section, and there will be a separate video for microbiome. Uh, in a month or so. I love abandoning my channel, so we'll see when. So let's start with Amuno. So page number 489. Do I really like this book? No, not really. Honestly, I did most of my Amuno online from YouTube channels, which I will be linking down below in the description box. But it's a good book after, you know, for uh, doing topics that you didn't quite understand from... Um, from the YouTube videos or uh, the topics that you want to do in a bit more detailed. So it is divided into multiple chapters on Amino. Amino. My only problem with this book is that it is quite repetitive, like it keeps on repeating the same things over and over and over again. And this introductory chapter is like, I don't even know what it is. Although I have, you know, read it quite a few times and I have, you know, highlighted it, annotated it. Um, because my uh, my university exams are very highly based on the textbook, so I have to do it. But if it is a nice textbook, see, I do recommend it if you really, really, really need to use a textbook because I did use it. But I don't recommend it if you can understand and if you can easily pass your exams without using a textbook. So if without using a textbook you can pass your exams, then um, you can totally skip this textbook. It's not, it's not that you know, big of a deal. Totally skip this, throw it out, do whatever you want to do. The next book that I recommend for Immuno is the Step 1 Lectures Note by Kaplan. Again, I have no clue how you will get this. You have to pay for the videos and the book. I got it from a senior who was very kind to give them to me. I really, really like this book because it's so precise and so to the point that you can easily understand all the information. So uh, as a textbook, I used this one more as a textbook than the Levinson. So I read it all throughout, like I read the entire book and I did all the questions in it and the questions really helped me hammer down the information. So it's also an amino and micro together. So you just have to do the amino section. I'm talking about the amino section only. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of its micro section, but the amino section is actually really good. So you have all these chapters and um, you can, you know, cover them all and then you can figure it out. Okay, so this is the second book I recommend. Um, the third book is the USMLE Step 1 2017. It has an amino section in it. And that amino section right here on page number 91, that amino section is a really good review section. So if you do all the pages of the amino section present in this book, you are good to go. I can assure you that 90% of your exam can easily be covered by doing uh, just the Step 1. about the books and now um, I will move on to my own notes and some online resources that I use that I highly recommend and I kind of recommend them more way more than I recommend using any of these books so let's move on to those so there is this YouTube channel by the name of Dr. B and he has uh, uh, some immunology uh, he has an immuno playlist which is the best 
amino play playlist on YouTube that I have found, especially the introduction to amino. He explains everything so freaking clearly that once you do those, once you are done with those videos, you can easily, you know, cover your amino. As, as far as I'm concerned, he really, 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 really helped me to understand immunology. Um, okay, now moving on, I have some of these notes that I've made. The best way to understand immuno and the antibody antigen reactions and everything is by drawing them out. I know, I know you can, you know, read them from the books, but that's not really, but that doesn't really help you memorize anything, does it? But like if I have this antigen presentation antibody production by B cell, now this is a really important concept because it is very frequently tested. So I've literally drew everything out from uh, my brain. I've literally drawn, drew, drew, is true a word? I've, I've drawn everything from my uh, brain. And hence, you know, it makes everything so much more easier if I can picture it. So if you can picture the reactions, if you can picture the way antigen, antibodies sort of react with each other, it is so much, it makes um, everything so much easier and you can easily answer the questions. So you can also summarize some stuff like summary of mechanism of generating receptor diver, uh, Diversity, which is a really important topic again, very high yield. But the most important topic in immuno is, of course, the hypersensitivity reactions, the type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. They're really, really crucial. And all the, you know, immuno uh, autoimmune disorders, these are very important topics. So you have to know them. Um, see, this, this is what I'm talking about when I told you that immuno should be done in one go. So if you can make stuff like these, charts like these, these diagrammatic representations of concepts, it just makes everything so much more easier. You don't really have to do books. Go ahead and, you know, read books. Just watch some YouTube videos, figure out what the entire thing is all about, and then sort of just draw it out. I can, of course, post these notes online if you want, which I have been promising to do for a while now, but I will get back to that in a while. Okay, there is one more beautiful sketch. Okay, this is like the entire amino for as far as I'm concerned. This is like an entire diagrammatic representation of what goes once your, you know, pathogen enters your body and how your body acts to, you know, get rid of the pathogen. And then you can just like focus on one part, you know, expand it and learn more about it. But you have to know everything at one glance and once you have it you can just like focus on specific parts and then you know study more about them in detail but it's always good to have like one focus point and then sort of like spread your knowledge out outwards so like start with one glance thing from dr bean videos for uh and then you know you can just go ahead and see everything else for the hypersensitivity reactions i recommend the osmosis videos osmosis and it's a it's a pretty popular channel i hope you know that already if you're a medical student you must have seen some osmosis videos so i highly recommend them just go watch them and see so like all these sketches really helped me out because they're all summarized stuff. So uh, whatever I'm, uh, uh, what, uh, what was it? What was I saying? Yeah, osmosis videos. I recommend them for the hypersensitivity reactions. And I've also made my own notes of hypersensitivity reactions from osmosis. So here is one of them. So this is a type two hypersensitivity sensitivity reaction. As you can see, it is again a sketch that I've made, and so. What I'm trying to say is that draw things out. In immuno, it's so much easier if you can draw the reactions out, the antigen antibody reactions, and then you can add a little bit of notes here and there. Because once you draw things out, you know, you can easily understand the meaning of them. You can easily understand how a reaction is taking place. So for example, if you see, you can see there's an antibody, you can see that there's a specific organ or tissue on which it is going to attack, you know, stuff like that. So this is the entire uh, type 2 hypersensitivity and then I have I think for type 4 hypersensitivity right here and then this one for type 3 hypersensitivity so you see and I have made all these notes by watching osmosis videos so I highly recommend them for the hypersensitivity reactions uh, do questions and then test yourself and see if you have missed anything there are a lot of online quizzes available so if you just type in google like amino quizzes on google you can find so many questions just solve them out and see where you lack and then make 
you know, a bunch of notes of all the things that you don't know and then go over it over and over and over again like I do. So if you, you can see like there are, are a bunch of notes like so and all of them do the same thing. Um, yeah, I think I think I have covered everything that I wanted to cover for Amuno. It's a small course. Yeah, this is this is. These are all the questions that I solved for Amuno and the, as you can see, you, uh, these are all from Kaplan and online quizzes and so that, uh, you know, all these little, little things really helped me hammer down the information. So I solve the questions and I write all the things um, from the answer explanations that I think that I don't know really well. And then I do them over and over again. And whatever things that I can recall in the first, uh, you know, pass, they're all ticked green. And whatever things that I can't recall in the first pass, they're all given this, you know, green circle. And these green circles, I revise a day before my exam. I revise continuously so that I don't miss them. So these are all the questions that I've solved. Again, it is all from, you know, um, from um, Kaplan and the BRS. I think there is a BRS book. I, I, I don't know if, I'm, I'm not sure. But I think they, they do have a BRS for... Uh, autoimmune disorder like specifically for autoimmune disorders like in a, in a, in a BRS there is a chapter for specific for autoimmune disorders I don't I'm not really sure I forgot but hey so this is how I said in immunology and if you like this video I hope this video was helpful I I'm not sure if I went into too much details uh, but I hope this video was helpful and if it was then please like comment share subscribe to the channel and um, let me know other videos that you want to watch. I'll probably cover microbiology in the next one. See you then.